Hello everyone and welcome to Art Party Friday with Helen. You can see here I've put out some Distress Oxides, so a piece of Basil Marshmallow cardstock and a stencil that I've had for ages. I'm pretty sure it's a Crafters Workshop stencil. stencil? It is actually TCW165 and I've had it for a long time. Fast forwarded a little bit so you don't have to actually see me colour in every star. And then I pulled out some water, sprinkled it on, let it react seeing it is distress oxide, dried it up with paper towel, ready to go. And to be honest, I made this layout for, or well, this background for a previous layout. Didn't like the colours, but I loved the background and thought, well, I need to keep working with it to make a new layout. And as it's Art Party Friday, I needed to add a bit more to it. So this stencil, and you can see it's well loved and well used, it's another Crafters Workshop stencil that I've had for a long time. And I pulled out some, hmm, Colour Blast texture paste, added some lines, set it aside to dry, and thought I want to make some stars to add onto the top to make it a bit more dimensional. So I pulled out another piece of cardstock, Stenciled away, added some more. You'll see too in a minute it'll flash and you can see some gold stars. I tried some gold paint and to paint some gold stars, but in the end wasn't happy with the colour, so chose not to use them. You'll see later how I incorporated gold without using gold paint. Just reacting those. Pulled out a stents, not a stencil, Helen, a stamp, an old Prima one that I've had around for a long time. And I used some watering can archival ink, so just a soft grey, didn't want that bold black grey. And did a little bit of stamping. Shook up my Heidi Swap Colour Shine for an awful long time. Sprinkled that around. Oh, and here you can see I had actually spent a lot of time, and thankfully I didn't film that cutting out all those stars and I inked around all the edges. You can see the gold stars there. They look good but it wasn't quite the right gold with the Heidi Swap gold colour shine. But you know you can never have too many stars and I'll just keep them for another project later. And at this point I hadn't really thought of photos to go with it so I went through my photo stash and found these two photos from a long time ago and I'm talking about about 2006 I think even maybe 2005 and one day I had gone out come home and one of the boys and I can't remember now without going back and double checking lots of stuff from a long time ago which boy it was but they'd found some star stickers and decided to decorate mummy's shoes and of course being the type of mum that I am I took photos of it and I left those shoes like that for a long time with the stars on them. Here you can see I found some gold glitter paper and it was a better gold colour to go with the layout and decided to cut some gold stars from that. Just use the stencil tr to trace around a few different sizes and to cut them out. It makes a better colour match to the gold colour shine. I pulled out some of my fun foam to back the photos. There's not a lot of, well there's no pattern paper other than the glitter paper because there's such a lot of detail with those stars and the texture and the stamping that I didn't really want anything else to compete with that. I'm really happy with that diagonal star arrangement. Um, it's very colourful and it made me happy making it. Have you ever had a go at making a background like this? I challenge you to have a try if you haven't. Maybe it's something new you can do in 2018. Here you can see I've cut out a title using my silhouette machine. And it's just the outline. And yes, I could have backed it with patterned paper or put a colour wash inside of it, filled it even up with little stars. But I didn't want to. The background is... The focal point of this layout and I wanted to leave it like that. I'm adding 
Second part of the title, the word power using gold stickers, letter stickers. And you'll see later on, I'm going to go around the star or the word with glossy accents. And that does actually make it stand out more in real life. But I want it to be quite subtle. Here you can see I'm adding some little wooden star embellishments from Studio Calico. I've had them for quite a while. But they just add that little finishing touch. For a change, I haven't actually backed my layout on a piece of patterned paper. But I couldn't quite leave it bare all the way around. So I inked around the edges with the blue or the Broken China Distress Oxide ink and added a little tiny bit of journaling at the bottom. And that's it. Here's a close-up of the title for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and all the best for the new year. Take care. See you later.